Now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set up shortcuts for the Google Assistant on your Android device. Now shortcuts are basically phrases you can tell your Google Assistant that will jump you into a specific part of an app. So say, take Gmail for example, and you want to create an email. You can set up the shortcut, um, create an email, and when you say that to the Google Assistant, it'll open up Gmail and open up uh, a new Compose email box uh, if you want. So the first thing you have to do is go ahead and turn that on. Um, and this works for multiple uh, different apps on your device, not just Gmail. Um, again, it depends on the developer and what they support. But when we go to this settings page, it's going to show you what all the apps you have downloaded on your device can do via shortcuts. So the first thing we want to do is open up the Google Assistant settings. We can do that either in the home app or if we just pull up the Google Assistant on our phone and tap the three lines at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It'll bring you to this page. Once here, go ahead and tap the user icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once here, you're going to want to scroll down till you see the shortcuts option, which is right here. If you don't see this, um, just make sure you have all your apps and everything updated and hopefully it should come on over. So go ahead, tap on shortcuts. And from here, you can see you have the explore tab and the your shortcuts tab. We don't have any added because we have to do that in the explore tab here. And you can see you get um, shortcuts you might like, like YouTube subscriptions, show your subscriptions in YouTube, um, that's for the YouTube app, new keep note, that's for Google Keep, and a few other options here like send uh, email and Gmail. The other options we have here, um, all your shortcuts for all your apps, I only have a select few apps on this device um, so that's why i only have a few options here you'll probably have more options like facebook and a few others if you have those but like if i tap on youtube i can see all the shortcuts um, that are available in the youtube app like youtube history or youtube subscriptions so you can see you have more options than just the ones up here now we want to do the send an email one so I'm going to go ahead and tap the plus button. And it says shortcut created. Next time just say blank Google send email. And you can see if we go into our shortcuts, it's right here. And I can edit it. And I can edit it to say compose email if I'd rather. But I'm just going to leave it as send email. And we're going to jump back. And we can even select your app shortcuts down here um, and again edit it and you can see all of them for this one app right so you can see your apps with shortcuts i'd have more down here if i had more shortcuts but i don't so now if we pull up the uh google assistant and ask it to send an email it's going to um, bring that up in the gmail app and I'm going to go ahead and type in my response um, into the Google Assistant instead of speaking it, just because it'll make it easier on the video. So I'm going to pull it up, and I'm going to type it in instead of speaking it. You can see I tap the keyboard option there. If I just type that in. It's going to pull up Gmail and here you go. Here's the compose box. Like I said before, you can select who you're going to do it to the subject and just start typing it out and send it. So that's one example of a shortcut that you can use via the Google assistant and how you can go and set up other shortcuts for different apps. I suggest you jump in there, see what apps um, are available for shortcuts and what type of shortcuts you can create with them um, to see if they'd be helpful for you. But hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this to help make your technology work better for you. Thanks!